Wiggity, what's up, Fish Tank people? FishTankTV.com, Dawson's Fish Tanks. Thursday night, smoked a huge deal today. Loving it, life's good. In the chat, talking to the people. Ask the dude in the chat, uh, Michael. He goes, I go, hey, he goes, I got some plants on eBay. I was like, hey, why didn't you hit me up? Uh, he's like, you shipped to the UK. So that was kind of a, a humbling moment that people across the pond are watching this and all over the world. So love it. Appreciate all your comments and everything. We're just going to keep doing what we're doing and we're doing it. So ask me questions and I'll keep doing it. Here's what's up. Somebody asked me, Dustin, you always talk about dirt. Um, what about getting your plants out of dirt? Well, that's a good question because it's kind of a pain in the butt. So here's what I do. Uh, I'm showing this for a couple reasons. One, I just planted these last week. Amazon Swords, classic plant. Got to run them. Got to love them. Um, here's what's going on. So like this plant down here, you've got these nice uh, fresh green leaves coming out. So clearly the plant is in good health. Then you've got this leaf here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two things. I'm going to remove this leaf. Um, now note, if this leaf were here and there was no other new growth coming, I'd leave this on because it's still actually doing some good. But you want to actually rip the leaves off, break them down at the bottom like that so that uh, they can be removed. I'm in the mosquito heaven, by the way. This is kind of sucking. Um, so that's what you want to do. You want to remove that there. Now here's what you want to do. You take that off. Um, so what happens is the plants don't know to send um, the nutrients and whatnot that they're taking from the dirt. Um, to the uh, leaves that are kind of funky. So they just are sending all this uh, energy to leaves that may not be the best in the best shape. So you want to rip the leaves off so that they send it to the good leaves. So here's what's up. The other part I want to show you is how I take them out of a dirty uh, thing and I'm getting killed with mosquitoes right now. Um, is you just slowly kind of just work it up out like this, you know, and just, just kind of slowly kind of, kind of pull and then push down, pull and push down, kind of go like that. And then just kind of pull it up out of there. You see a little bit of cloud. Just go real slow. And uh, that's how you do it. Um, this is a great sword. So I'm selling swords like this um, for five bucks. Um, they're actually a little bit, usually around this size, maybe a little bit bigger, a little smaller. And this is three bucks. But um, some people actually didn't know I was selling plants, which I thought was kind of funny. Because my goal is to educate, not just to sell plants. Well, actually, my goal is to sell enough plants so I can quit my job and do this full-time to help you out more. But um, here's what's up. This is an Amazon sword. Great plant. Um, this is actually a runner-off of one of the ones on my 220. And I have it outside because they do well outside. But you can see there's really good, uh, like, veins in the plant. I've talked about this before. So I'm just going to put this one back in there. I wanted to show you how to take it off or up out of the water. So, you know, I'm going to plant it back down there I stick it with my finger like this and I kind of hook it down in there like that see those bubbles coming up that's gonna happen because I've got dirt with some bubbles in it so that's what's up over there and then on the pond my man Vinny in the chat was trying to tell me to take my pond and run it with uh, do a big water change and then run it with like uh, decor or no decor which could solve a few problems. It could kill the uh, tiny little baby mosquito fish because I just dosed them with chlorine. However, I, I really don't want to hurt my uh, generation of goldfish that I have out here. So that's uh, kind of a tough call. I don't know. I might have the prime handy and just change it up. But you can see the nice uh, jungle val over there, the dude swimming through. Uh, I was talking to my man uh, Clark on the uh, chat. He's got these sick, sick koi. You're going to want to check those out up on the uh, fishtanktv.ning.com, which will be changing to fishtanktv.com. I just gotta make sure everybody's over, so you can get there. Um, and uh, yeah, so the pond's fun, definitely a, a serious balance, off balance thing. Um, you guys' suggestions on the, uh, the fish to eat the other fish are kinda cool. I like the idea of rainbows. Um, some of you said gar. There's no way in hell I'm putting a gar out here because the gar will totally snatch up my goldfish. And you all know I love my goldfish, so. Um, I've been manually removing this algae. This stuff is the best stuff ever for live bears, guppy grass. I did a species sundown a while back, and it's really what I'm trying to do to outgrow the algae. I'm trying to just let this stuff grow wild. And um, if anyone, you know, I'm trying to use plants as filters. There's one of my favorite goldfish right there in the middle. That fish was black when I bought where I bought him, when I found him. So, excited about that. Um, and really just having a lot of fun. The weekend's coming up. Uh, oh yeah, this is uh, Hygrophila. 
not a very well seen plant. You don't see it all the time. Well seen. I don't know what kind of English I'm speaking, but um, Tigropha is a really cool plant. Really, really hardy, and uh, might even be illegal because it's evasive because it just grows so well. But very cool. Um, kind of a different contrast of plant. And I like how it grows. Once it hits out of the water, it grows differently. It was purple before I started screwing with it. So that's what's up. Hit me up, ask me questions. I'll try to get to you guys in the chat. I apologize. It's tough though. But um, I'm having a good time. Later.